and today is the 19th day of February 2024. I shall be responding to the voice note made by Reverend Mbara Chuku on the 17th day of February 2024. Uh, a quick one. Uh, Reverend Ngwa Achuku, I heard your voice note. You made your points. Uh, you know, I have always avoided to talk about you uh, because of uh, reasons best known to me, not because of fear or, or anything. Uh, let me go straight to the point. You came out to tell us that uh, the money that is about to be disbursed is not a UAG grant. Okay. That's very good of you to say that as the spokesperson of UAAG or the spokesperson of AGPGN. <laughs> uh, you have forgotten so fast and um, it will not be good if we don't remind you things that had happened in time past even when you came with your your so-called international friends you assured nigerians that these people uh, were your friends you've been friends you told me that you people have a group called G6. That you and Ken Wakama are the same. You people are in the same position in the project. You came with your sweet mouth and Nigerians bought into your sweet mouth. It is now because you had falling away or falling apart from the UAAG arrangement that you are now telling us that you asked Apostle Cain what was going on during your international uh, community struggle and he never you know agreed with you you brought your international community you took over the airwaves. You were campaigning. You brought everything. You and your friends. It was as if you people were in a secret court then. You dominated everybody. All of us became foolish in the eyes of the people. I said, okay. Though I told Apostle Ken, you see, Reverend Nungwa Achupu, he will put you in trouble. He is so desperate and he will not bring results. Then it was as if I am contesting something with you. I I said, okay, let me watch you deliver. <laughs> it is well. I I was surprised to see you, you know, come out to talk as if you were never part of anything castigating the same Apostle Cain that gave you platform. Who knew you before now? I want, to, I, want to, I want to tell you that we knew what happened. If you, you are not out of your mind, why will you say people are promoting fake grants? If I may ask, what were you doing when you came? When you hijacked the whole process and began to talk about your friends, your international criminals, what were you doing? Were you demoting the UAG project? At first, who asked you the source of the fund? Okay, let me remind. Let me use your own word. You said that Pastor Ken said AGPGN sourced the, pro, uh, the grant. Okay, if according to you, if you are not lying, eh? if according to you, uh, Apostle Ken already said it, 
So why did you come out again? Why did you come out to say it? Just because Apostle Ken did not put you in the disbursement committee, that was his crime. Look at Tungwa Achuku opting out. You? Did you opt out? No. It was because Oga did not add you in uh, his uh, disbursement committee. That was the problem. That was the problem. You left. When you started calling people out, then they killed somebody. Do you know that it was because of Oga's love towards you that, uh, you know, we, you, we didn't allow you to be implicated? You were calling out, let me let me still, you know, cover you irrespective of your your behavior and the way you run your mouth flippantly. You were saying that a particular grant handler, whether fake or, or real, killed the wife. We said no. Don't uh, don't be saying that. Because if you are doing that, you will be arrested. You are advised to stop. The same man you are calling greed now, very greedy. He's so wicked, he couldn't keep to agreement. I don't have any personal issue with you, but I have issue with your ungratefulness. Remember how you came on board. Remember your resources the way you came on board. You came as a as a reverend I, I don't go to it is between you and god whichever thing you your you say your title is is between you and god i am not the one that called you so i don't go there i respect whichever thing you did with god because i was not there you came there as a reverend you had a very humble beginning you left abuja as a philanthropist you became a giver from people's labor. You have been singing up and down the amount you gave to AGP as if you brought your um, your money and gave to them. Is it not the same as this Apostle Cain under his watch that you, you called out people and they gave you support? From that support, you became a philanthropist. The opportunity that none of us ever had now the same man that gave you such a platform is greedy you should have said something but you will not say it because well because people will say you left on apostle king that's why uh, you are you are talking against him what did you what what will he say again did he take your wife in fact i think Igbo people should apologize to the whole nation it is not others that are not fair to us. It is Igbos that are very, very unfair to themselves. And this is not good at all. This is not good at all. Remember, in AGPG, people piloting AGPG, none of them are from the East. None of them are from the East. So now they have made yourself the mouthpiece of AGPGN to come out and be saying this type of a thing. Someone came to Abuja with a very humble beginning. Eh? Where you were going, you already have a chief asset title, a giver, a philanthropist, people, someone that pay people's rent. No one ever stopped you. It was August shoe that you were wearing then he stepped into his shoe in fact Oga was less head than you i could remember then that anybody that call your name is looking for prosecution trouble all of those things were not doing you good because you did not join a disbursement committee You told some people that's that was your problem. Eh? And they said it. Oga said, no, no, he doesn't want trouble. Watch, who doesn't have any issue with you. 
that his own problem is for the money to come out and let this disbursement to happen. Over time, Oga have always said it. That he was informed his name was in the document and he, he, he started working on it for the money to be paid. He today has never stopped pushing for money to come out. Yes, AGPGN did good work. We applaud them. But remember, there was never a time a guy stopped working hard for any money, eh? whichever way related to UAG and him to be released to the masses. Now, people like you come out every time you want to present your own part of the story. And because of the hunger in the land, people will not even ask whether what you are saying is correct. Now you are panting this hard because you were not allowed to continue making money from the people. Even after you broke out uh, from UAG, you continued to raise money. You continue to raise money from your friends. Friends you made from where? Why, why, did, you, why did you not make your friends from Imo State then? How many friends did you have in a WhatsApp group as at then? You were given a platform as wonderful as the one given to so, someone now. You were everywhere. You were living as if you are okay. If people contribute to that, it is worth it. At least he's, he was looking for grant. Where were you collecting money for? He never intended duping people. So why were you after the three hundred thousand? You continued to raise funds. You continue to raise funds. Let us agree if you had given all of that to a prosecutor. The worst people continue to contribute to you after the, rest, the fundraising, what was that for? They were still doing those things for you, hoping that you were assisting Apostle Kane to, to seek for this grant. Remember, AGPJ had already worked with Apostle Kane for years before you came on board. So if they're listening to you, it means that those guys don't have agenda for their for whichever thing they're doing to succeed. If they prefer you, how can they prefer you? Was it okay for, just immediately now, all of a sudden, be, all of a sudden, IGPJ and no more after your life? Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten? You were you cried out that they were after your life. I don't know who advises you, because if your advisors are correct, all those your young women, if they are correct, if they don't have mental issue, you will not come out to do this type of inconsequential voice notes. It, it will not pay you. You are now fanning war between uh, all Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria with uh, 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 Apostle K. It will not work. Oh. What you don't know is bigger than you. What you don't know is bigger than you. Apostle was going through his own channel for the release of phone. AGPGM was also going through their own channel. But the reporting point is Apostle Kane. Don't forget. They go there, they report. Apostle Kane also contact his own people and call meeting between him and pressure group. Me, I know, I will not call from, I, I, because of this thing, I met a former president of this country, the Immunity Regime. I have met a lot of people for this. I have also taken a guy to, to places. Ask AGPGN. Once they hear this voice, no, they know. Because those guys are wonderful. There is no movement I made that they didn't know. I didn't even know who, who normally tell them where I went. I went to places. Yes, if AGPJ was the one that brought the, the, the big break, kudos to them, give them their flowers. But then you are so wicked. 
to speak evil of Apostle Cain or to start beating, beat, uh, beating the drum of war against Apostle Cain. No. Apex Apostle Cain may not be the, the, the best person. He may not be the, the most, the perfect person. But he had treated you very well. Including, you know, trying to stop evil coming your way because of your mouth. This same mouth of yours. You were accusing someone of murder on the internet. Maybe because you saw me doing video that time condemning the oppression of uh, Teobat Global Foundation. I never called it you a I, I never alleged that anybody killed anybody. But you came, you did. You came, you did. Remember, there was no payment as, a, as a, it, it, it regards a UAG grant. It was support people made. Nobody's going to prison. On the good day, you will say, what will you say? If the three hundred thousand, let let's uh, let assume that you gave it to Apostle Cain, how much did you not give? How much did you not give? The advice you used out of uh, grossity, out of uh, wickedness, you come out to shout. The, why did you not lecture yourself before you come out to talk? You see, this war you want, it will not happen. It will fall upon you, you will run. You will want to run. Any merenya. Upon all the things you enjoyed. You, when you came to this grand community, you made the most significant progress of your life, something you never did. I know a friend of mine that I normally call you that I think God brought that God have chosen to help you. I said, Good and fine. I was your worst enemy then. When Oga called me as the official spokesperson, I came to beg you. Where I was begging you. For two hours, you were telling me how the whites made you a reverend, how I am not reasonable, how I am stupid. You were telling people I am a nobody. I said, Okay, who am I? Was I somebody? No problem. It's God that knows who is somebody. He made people to believe I am their worst enemy. They shouldn't listen to me. He will come out every day and say, do I want to do the job of a spokesperson? Who is contesting any job with you? Are they paying me? Am I even seeing the light of the day when you were on ground? Everybody is an enemy. Why? You want to quarrel with everyone, including people who fed you before you, you ventured into the grand community and, and your name became favor. All of them are enemies now. They will be laying curses upon you. This is not fair. This is a brotherly voice note. It's not an attack. I know why you are doing all of these things. You compiled 320 NGOs that you had an agreement each with them and sent to pressure group. You've been sending it. You want all of them to be included in the schedule for payment, including people that didn't do verification. That was a gas crime. Only you registered 320. And you don't collect anything less than three or in, even after the, when they were trying to uh, kill in the NGOs you brought, it took them two weeks. Your own NGOs alone, people you brought. You don't need to have NGO. Even that we know you have, you don't need to have. Because 320, only you with all of them, you agreed with them what they'll give to you. Why will you now? have your own and some people who maybe show you pity that you don't you do not have ngo maybe those people are senile they are the in fact their 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 brain is not working why will you not have as someone who is claiming to be a leader and someone who is fighting for the people a stomach fighter I, you, are, you are, I respect you, but you didn't do yourself well. Now, you, you are claiming to be a saint. 
You never duped every anybody, but you just duped everybody. But you were here seeing how people are going to uh, 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 police station every day, getting stay of a, a man who doesn't want to to help the people is going to court to get a uh, stay of execution. For him to do verification and continue to push for the money to drop. That time nobody will talk. You say all this is Vastalis uh, uh, and other, all of them are just your gas friends. It's you people, you people are in G6. All of a sudden, it is only your guy. Thank God. If I, I was even allowed into, who knows what you would have said I did to you. This is not good. We knew a lot of things you did in Abuja, but that will be upon your response to this voice note. I'm going to come up openly, though it is going to affect other people hmm, that is not uh, uh, on, the, on the limelight now. I'm going to call names. See, I, I don't, I, I, I don't, I can't stand an ingrate. I can't stand an ingrate. Now you drive a car. What were you doing before now? I hate to talk about people's personal life, but you are going, you are going personal. Someone is so greedy. If you are allowed the opportunity, Apostle is allowed the opportunity he had, you will destroy the nation. You, you will destroy the nation. I am very disappointed. I was very devastated, disappointed when I heard your voice note. But, well, it doesn't call for. Okay, if it was AGPGN, once again, who called you to say? Even if it's AGPGN that I say you should say, you should have known what you did. How much you benefited from acting as the country director of the same UAG as saying they don't have documents now. You should have kept quiet. This wickedness that comes from us, people from the East, is not fair at all. It's not. It's not good. We can be surviving individually, but with the wickedness of the brotherly wickedness from the Eastern Nigeria, we can only become rich as an individual. But to lead, to lead this country, it is upon God. Or oh, it's upon God. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, you see, we don't do this all the time, but sometimes it can be very difficult for you to hold yourself. All of you knew how he came on board, or this is what we are getting. Listen to my voice notes, and uh, you are at liberty to make your own opinion. I want to say thank you. From me, from here. It is good morning. Comrade OCG, the official spokesperson for United Alliance African Grant. Don't bother. This buzzment is coming. Bye for now.